The repair of this mini split air conditioner motherboard went wrong. But how? For this, you should know what the problem this inverter mini split air conditioner had. This is a one ton inverter mini split air conditioner, which occasionally stops working. I have turned it on to show you its problem. The temperature is set to 16 degrees. The blower motor is working fine right now. The outdoor unit also stops when the problem is shown in this mini split air conditioner. When the indoor and the outdoor units are communicating fine with one another, then the LED light of the outdoor motherboard blinks continuously. Now you can see the F1 error has started to display on the indoor motherboard display. This segment of the display is not working properly. That's why it seems to be like C1. The outdoor is now blinking differently when the error has started to display. The LED number is H701. Let's count how many times the LED blinks. The LED blink paused for a few seconds. Now, I will count the blinks. One, two. The light is blinking 21 times. The F1 means that this is a serial communication error, which means that the outdoor and indoor motherboards cannot communicate with one another. The circuit board installed in this air conditioner is from the Chigo company. When I passed electricity through this air conditioner the first time, the outdoor unit started, and the communication was also working fine. So now I will check this unit, why is it showing an F1 error code? I will put multimeter probes between the neutral and the communication terminals. The multimeter is only showing 15, 18, and 17 volts DC. This means the communication is actually not working properly. It sometimes works and sometimes does not. I have removed the indoor and outdoor motherboards from the units. The physical situation of the outdoor circuit seems to be bad. The indoor circuit is quite better. I couldn't find any damaged components in it. I have found a very big issue in the outdoor motherboard which could be the reason of this problem. All these components like resistors and the microcontroller. A rust kind layer is made on the pin contacts. This rust makes the component within itself short circuit. I will remove this rust layer from this motherboard. Repairing it in this condition will be a little difficult. The back side of this circuit board is better than the front side. Now some pins have been cleaned nicely, but some have not been cleaned nicely, as I have washed this circuit thoroughly with petrol. So I am cleaning it using a scraper for each pin where the rust is present, to make the conductivity vanish from the circuit board. I have tried to clean the rust nicely. Even I have cleaned it with a wired brush. The rust or dirt is so hardened that it needs a lot of time to clean it. A layer of silicon is applied to the circuit boards. That rust has been joined with the silicon. That is why it is getting difficult to clean this board. Now I have cleaned this motherboard. It's still not the best clean, but I hope the communication error was due to the conductivity. Then this error will not be shown. The indoor unit circuit has a relay installed. But this indoor circuit is without a relay. This connection is made for the indoor input, and then the black wire is going for the outdoor input. This circuit has direct connections. Only the wire will go problematic in the indoor circuit board because the indoor circuit is given no control. Let me give you a pro tip whenever you repair a circuit board or electronics with many wires. Insulate wires with electrical tape so they may not accidentally contact the circuit you are working on. This is a good practice, and I always do it. I have installed both the motherboards in the unit and turned them on. The outdoor unit has been turned on now. The LED light on the outdoor motherboard stays stable when the compressor starts to work. I am checking this unit temporarily as I have attached a loop with the suction and discharge. If it keeps working for a while, I will check it further by piping it properly. 
this air conditioner is consuming 2.5 amperes. Now I have checked it by piping the unit on full load. The unit is working well now. It has started to consume 5.4 amperes now. The air conditioner is also cooling nicely, I can feel it. I have charged the refrigerant in this unit. The standing pressure of the unit is almost 250 psi. But as soon as I charge the refrigerant in it, it immediately started to show an F1 error. Which is the same problem. I was checking the communication signals of the circuit. A very awkward situation has made for me. As soon as I place the negative probe here, it blasted. And you can see its condition now. Let's test what components have gone bad. First I am checking this diode. This diode is showing zero voltage drop on the multimeter. The optocouplers have been completely damaged. Let's check this other diode. It is showing a voltage drop it is fine. The diode and the optocouplers are bad. Now I will install a new Zener diode in it. This Zener diode is a 30 volts. I have repaired the communication circuit, and the components that were required has been replaced. And when it had short-circuited, with it the U701IC has also been short-circuited. This is a 2 kHz PFC1 cycle control IC. This IC drives this IGBT driver. It is also working for the protection of the IGBT. It has been short-circuited. I have changed this IGBT. The IGBT has again short-circuited. After working on this circuit board, the short circuit was not fixable. I work on the microcontroller. And I removed it from the board. After removing the microcontroller, the short circuit disappeared. Which means the microcontroller also got short circuited. This is why this motherboard is not repairable. But the aim of telling you about the F1 error is accomplished. I hope you understand. Click on the left or right thumbnail to watch our next videos and subscribe. Thank you.